Perkins Engineering has also had a facelift. The latest VT Commodores are the strongest chassis ever produced by the team. Combined with sharp new Castrol wall paint, Larry Perkins and Russell Engel will be hungry to claim that elusive first Shell Series crown. Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Sort of a Bathurst edition, or sort of not. <laughs> As you can see here, we have a special edition. We have the two cars. So these are these cars are from the 2000 championship season, and both these cars um, are Perkins Engineering VT Commodores, with the uh, number 11 here being driven by team owner Larry Perkins, and the number 8 here being driven by Russell Engel. Uh, both these drivers would actually drive the number 11 car, um, at the 2000 FAI 1000 Bathurst, and they would qualify fourth for that uh, for the great race, but um, did finish two laps down in 11th um, in, in this particular car. And um, Christian um, Murchison and Luke Yulden would actually drive the number eight car for that particular race. But uh, throughout the season, uh, individually, Russell Engel and Larry Perkins would drive these cars for the for the championship season. So what we'll do is we'll check out these cars. We will... Uh, We'll check out Larry's car first, so we'll move Russell out of the way for the moment and have a have a look at the Larry Perkins car. It is uh this, these are by Auto Art. Um, they you know they, they they do come up nicely. We'll have a look at the library down the side here. It is the Castrol Racing Perkins Engineering cars, and um, it it does does look very nice. We'll have a look straight away underneath actually, and and have a look at the detail under underneath there. Um, the the actual chassis a little. That, that it's a little bit plasticky. Um, normally, they they are a die cast. There, the tyres they sort of do look a little bit rubbery, but not as good as some uh, some other cars we've sort of had. But the suspension does manipulate all around and everything, and there is still a fair fair bit of detail as you can see there. You can see all the uh, suspension and transmission details there. We'll pop him back over and have a look at the the business end. The um, the Perkins Engineering engines. So they, he built all these engines. He was he's a genius. Um, you can't see much. The, this has got the generic sort of um, bonnet, sort of hinges. So you can't really open these much. Uh, uh, sort of higher. Um, there's not much really to see in here anyway. Uh, there is a big cover over the engines, but um, it is unfortunate these do not actually lift up too much higher. Um, it would be nice if they went a little bit. And it's sort of they are sort of a little bit loose. So they don't sort of stay open if you do prop them. Well, mine doesn't anyway. Um, I did buy this new year, quite a few years ago, but uh, it hasn't been played with or anything. Um, these the, these cars, um, they they are no longer available, I do not think, to buy brand new. So you will have to hunt down on the uh, second ma second-hand market for these. We'll have a look in the boot. It's same, the boot's a little bit loose, but um, we'll have a look at the detail in there. As you can see, there is some uh, nice detail in there. It's pretty pretty hard to see inside the boot. But um, these cars are also, um, they do all open up as well. We'll have a look inside the driver's side here. And there's some fantastic detail. These, these purpose-built race cars now, has all the bars for the cage and everything like that for driver protection. And it is, um, they, all four doors do open. So you can see the details of those roll, roll cages in there. It is f phenomenal, actually. They are um, really intricate inside there. Uh, but um, as I said, all four doors do open. These are not a sealed body. They do uh, all open up completely, and you can um, check them out in great detail. And I, I think it does present quite well. And uh, we'll put Larry over here for the moment, and we'll grab Russell's silver bullet, and uh, we'll grab this uh, this Castrol racing car that was driven by Russell Ingle, and uh, a similar livery, obviously, except for um, where uh, Larry's was black, um, Russell's is silver. So... But um, it does have the same sort of livery. Uh, de detail qualities are the, um, the, the same inside as well for the, the driver's compartment. Same deal too with the um, inside. It does have all that roll cage detail in Russell's car as well. Um, these are very similar cars. Uh, they are just, just some minor paint, paint differences. We'll have a look underneath as well. And you'll see the same, same detail underneath. It does have that sort of plasticky finish underneath uh, and the suspension does does all manipulate and everything the same as um larry's car and we'll just have a look in the bonnet it'll be very similar which it is that's just um silver in there instead of black and the same same deal with the hinges although this one is actually staying open which is which is good 
and you can see see clearly in there that um, the de- the detail of the uh, engine and everything like that it does have some sort of nice detail in there. But as I said, it does have those covers over the engines, which they do not remove or anything like that. Just close that up. We'll have a look on the passenger side of Russell's car. And look, the application of the livery is really nice. I, I think there is no issues in that regards. These cars do present reasonably well and um, they, they come up nice. We'll open the uh, boot here and have a look inside. Same deal inside here. It does have have those um, boot extra boot details inside there and, and all the hoses and the fuel pump accessories and stuff like that. But um, I'll take some happy snaps of those so you can see them in a little bit better light. But um, overall, look, I, I think both these units uh, are pretty pretty cool. And um, if you do not, you know, if you are doing this like a V8 Supercars collection, especially Holden wise, like I am trying to do, um, you want to grab one of these, go for it. They are, are nice versions of these cars and um, they do, do present well in your cabinet if you are, are displaying them in that, that way. But uh, I reckon they're pretty cool. So once again, this one is um, Larry Perkins season car number 11. And this one is Russell Ingalls season car number eight from the 2000 season. So it's both these cars are 118th scale, both by Auto Art. And they are of the 2000 VT Commodore, which both these drivers raced in the uh, 2000 championship season. All right, guys, I will uh, take some snaps of both these uh, cars and you can check them out without the sausage fingers being in the way. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, throw us a like. That'd be awesome. And uh, hopefully you did. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. I'll be still slotting out some of these uh, diecast car videos as well as all my other videos as well that I'm, that I'm doing on the channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, dropping past. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.